Got a little poem for you here yeah. for Mother M. It's for always being a wonderful, loving mother. O is for always placing others before yourself. T is for your teams, the wonderful cubs, bulls, bears, hawks, and Irish. <laughs> H is for the happiness in your life which you share with all of us. E is for the exceptional way you live your life with courage, dignity, and grace. And R is, is for remembering the priceless time that we spent with you. I don't know if anyone else wants to Does anybody say else a want to say a word? Yeah. I can remember the night you were born, Tommy, because um, your uncle, Edmund, was out on a date with me, and we were at the Chicago Stadium at a basketball game, and they were trying to get Ed because they wanted him to take your mom to the hospital. <laughs> so he got home and he went back. The car was heated. He had the car heated. Wow. And no cell phones. How'd you do it? Uh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, that's right. Um, I can remember how Aunt Mary always used to give us great sweaters for birthdays because he used to work at the clothing store. And I remember how uh, understanding she was when we would show up to uh, the house two hours late for Sunday dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I remember all the Thanksgivings that you had. We always had Thanksgiving at your house, so that's a tradition now that Ella and I are kind of hosting Thanksgivings for our family, your whole your family. Yeah. 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 Mary's a really good cook. I remember her. Spaghetti. I don't know. I remember lots of, uh, well, lots of memories. It's been over 40 years that, that, that I've known Mary. Um, 42, 43 years. And um, to just be the girl Tom was dating to the girl Tom was going to marry and having um, the best mother-in-law anyone could possibly have. Um, that really knew how to be a mother-in-law and how to be a mother, too. And so many um, wonderful visits at our house. I mean, not too many... I mean, it's a testimony that Mary can come for six weeks and, and we're trying to like, can you stay longer? Can you stay longer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and we've had so many wonderful dinners around our table at the harbor on Mary's dime. And <laughs> <laughs> lots of, lots of wonderful memories. So um, we can all hope, you know, when I, if I get to 90 that I wear pearls like Mary does and always good earrings and um, know every cup score, every team score. <laughs> My mind is half as sharp as Mary's is now. I will be a, I'll be a happy gal. So here's to a, a 90 year old that's got a lot of class. And <laughs> that we never call Mary between 12 and 1 because she's watching I watch the same program from 12 to 1. Me too. I got her. I got her. I got her. Having my daddy. Thank you. Um, I know, like, Grandpa's here in spirit, and I know that he passed on. Like, I know he's in spirit here, and I just want to give everything you've done for him. Okay, Grandma taught me to play poker. Uh, I don't know whether to thank her for that or to ask her to assume liability. <laughs> so many amazing memories going to Grandma's house. Uh, I, I would sort of be the kid that was kind of pandering for candy or for, you know, little hand-me-downs or something. But all, Grandma's house um, is always a place that. 
it was next to heaven. And, and coming out to Chicago was always tantamount to happiness for me uh, because of the experience of being able to stay with Grandma. Um, and that illusion has never been allayed over the years. Truly, when I think of Chicago, I think of the most enriching um, experiences uh, that are on Elizabeth Drive. And, and I just want to thank you for so many things. I can't even quantify the words. I'll speak up too. Uh, grandma's, you know, I can't deny anything he just said. <laughs> Even if living in Illinois, Grandma's is still just that wonderful, magical place you can go and just feel safe and loved. Uh, grandma, you've always been there when anyone has needed you, so you've always really taught me what the meaning of the word generosity is because you've always given of yourself, of your time, of your money, of your uh, just lending an ear sometimes to people, and you've always just helped out those who need you, whether they ask it or not, so you've really given me a lot of good life lessons just through example, so thank you for that, and it's just been wonderful, so. Thank you.